Can I get a Hoya? Woop woop less than three.
Oh, I was typing. Hi! Chat? 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 There you are, chat. Hello. Hi, souls. Have fun at work. There's chat. There's chat. We got chat. Why are you chat? Why are you like this? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I can fix this. I can fix this. Boom. Music so that's too damn bad. It's too damn bad. I like my music round. There you go. Hello. Let me know if you can hear the air conditioner in the background. It was really funny. You guys were you guys were talking about the AC. <laughs> I finally put the air conditioning in the window. No, we don't hear it. Good. I don't have to roast then. I finally put the I I finally broke down and put the air conditioner in the window. I didn't want to. I really didn't want to. But I did. Yeah. Speaking of bad, use code CLUCKER to get 10% off your order of Rogue Energy. That's still going on, guys. So if you still want to order Rogue Energy, feel free to use my code CLUCKER at checkout. I burned my outlet out with mine. Is this in your, your old apartment that's falling apart? Because that would make sense. That makes sense to me. Yes. I can't hear you. I have tinnitus. Oh, no. Creature comforts. I know. Oh, man. I should use more strawberry bubblegum rogue hydrate. I should get some hydrate. I think I'm going to need it. We're having a heat wave again, which is why I put the air conditioner in. Because I went into my office. It was, it, was a, it was a nightmare, by the way, putting the air conditioner in. Um, my office, before I even turned on my computer, it was 82 degrees. So turning on my giant ass computer, I can only imagine how much heat would have built up very quickly. So I'm sure it would have been PC thick. No, she's not she's not the biggest PC out there, but she's a big one. Um I probably would have hit close to like 90, 92 maybe. B, I use a floor dryer for regular fan. Can't even hear your AC over my own fan. Amazing. <laughs> 3090 burns with the power of a dying star. I walked, I was at Costco today. Guys, I have Costco stories. I was at Costco today and I passed the, they have pre-built computers there. And they had my case, like the next step up from my case, like the new year version of my case with a 40, what is it, what is it for now? 40, is it 4090 graphics card? Is that what it is? Yeah, 4090 graphics card. 4060, 4090. No, it's 4090. And uh, it was like half the price of my PC, and I almost curled up and died. It was like almost the price I paid just for my graphics card. And it hurt me. Because I had to buy my gra I had to buy my PC in the middle of like, right, during COVID. I bought it during COVID. It cost me big pain. Costco mentioned it has summoned Robo. No, Robo is Robo's um a Norwegian and I didn't mention IKEA. So But yeah, I'm thinking my computer is 3 years old now. I'm thinking about maybe maybe it might be time-ish for some upgrades maybe. I want more RAM. Oh, I get more RAM and then I got two open slots. So I'm debating about either getting just completely replacing the ones I got and getting in 232 or just getting two more 16s. During COVID, I sold my old graphics card for the same price I bought the upgraded version for it. Yeah, see? Booby keeps eating your RAM. It's true. Just lie to people like that. Um, You bought it during super inflated COVID crypto mining phase. Yep. I do 32s. I opted for that when they built it. I just hold back during those times because of a friend's advice. I needed to upgrade, unfortunately. Like, it was either upgrade or stop streaming. That was kind of the shitty situation I was in. Um. RX670. Oh my god, I don't even know those numbers. It's really bad. I only recognize, like, certain brands, like, identifiers. or numeric identifiers. I remember your computer pooping itself a while back. Yep, yeah, the potato. It was too much for the potato. I would not be able to do what I'm doing on, on the potato right now. I would not be able to do it. 
Did you upgrade or stop streaming? Don't leave us in suspense. I don't know. Guess. Guess. I think my mother... My motherboard... What is my motherboard? I don't remember. I don't... I have... I don't have an Intel processor. What do I have? Where do I check how, what my computer parts are? Computer... Computer management? Yeah, right? No, this, where do I, device manager? Yeah, 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 what do I have? What is my motherboard? Is it a razor or something? Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. ACPI 64 base PC? No, that's not right. <laughs> I don't remember how to look through these anymore. Hello, Gato. You have a bio. Came out great normally with this PC. I need to get a whole new set of tools for it. Yeah, that was my situation. You have an AS. Yeah, I have an AS Rock X57 Tai Chi. How did you know that? I didn't even remember that. Oh, yeah, it is in my about section. You're right. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. Oh, my God. Yep, that's where it is. <laughs> Baka. Oh. <sighs> I think the one thing I would end up doing, though, is I would probably skip the RGB next time, unfortunately. I would love to have, like, a big RGB. I, like, I would absolutely... I don't regret buying the RGB, but just the way my computer setup is now, um, I can't see it anyway. So I'd rather not spend the money for RGB stuff, unfortunately. In fairness, when was the last time you had a look down there? Yeah. Actually, that's a good question. Hold on a minute. Did I get rid of the gamers outreach stuff? <laughs> that's a good question. Pause. I don't need this. Did I? Oh shit, I didn't even do that. God damn, I'm so bad at this. Oh man, I never fixed any of the other stuff either. Oh, the summer has been kicking my ass. There we go. Well, that's what we do now. That's what we do now. I could get RGB, but I've festooned my PC and stickers. There you go. Probably need a new graphics card to run the power of a 1080 and two M2 memory stick. I'd be good for a long time. A 1080? My graphics card before my 3060 was a 970. So, hello, Breaker. Beaker. Breaker. Hello, hello. I like the mysterious black box with no light stack. I actually saw... Hold on. I want to see if I can find it. Hold on. Um, I found this really cool PC that I would totally adore to have. But... It's pink, which I don't really like. I'm not a big fan of pink PCs, but this one was very pretty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, though. I think, I don't know if it was, like, a TikTok or something. But, like, you could tell the person that, like, put it together, like, cared very deeply about aesthetics, and it was very pretty. And it was very, like, intensely pretty. Like, it was just, like, the... The, it had, like, the water cooling was clear tubes, and then the, the liquid was pink and stuff. Oh, see, that one's pretty, too. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. I don't even know what to look for. But, yeah. I, I wish I had that kind of level of aesthetic ability. This one's very pretty, too. Mine isn't liquid cool, I think. I don't know what I ordered, actually. I have an AMD Ryzen 7. Ah, yes, that's Ryzen. That's where, not Razer. Pink woman, but computer. I'm not home, so I can't check. And just society, having a 1080 in a current year would be illegal. Yeah, I'm surprised people still have those. I do kind of wish gaming people would chill on the, like, shader tech and stuff. You know, like, I get it. I get why you'd want it, but, like, I don't know. 
I want the game to run. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have a laptop that runs Windows 7 Vista. Damn. Can't hear your own compiling shaders. Nothing is really properly optimized anymore. Exactly! Like, they're so worried about if they can, they never stop to think if they should. It makes me tired. Just more optimal. It's not sub-optimal. It's more optimal. Yeah, I can't find the PC case. I don't know. If I ever find it again, I'll share it. But it was very pretty. Like, I showed a dude I worked with. Like, a dude. Like, a manly dude, right? Like, a dude that wears, like, suits and probably pays more for his shoes than my car payment. And I was like, look at this computer. And he's like, whoa, that is pretty. So, like, that's how aesthetic this thing was. This dude that spends too much money on shoes. How much is your car? I could see you having more expensive shoes than my car payment. Just a power creep on parts easy. Stop making it fancy. Start making things functional. Just remembered I have beer. Let's go. Let's go. I've been seeing the point made that for all the bloated size and processor power required games don't look all that much better. Yeah, that's how I've been feeling too. I pay $400 in boots a year. Well, yeah, but you have work boots, so that makes sense, right? In all honesty, 1080, 2060, or 5700, and I'm golden for a long time because I just need a step to run 1080 at 60. My 470 Ti is a champ, damn. Plus the cowboy boots. Oh my god! Is there any man from Wisconsin that doesn't have cowboy boots? All father? Guys, if we go to a wedding, like if like a family member has a wedding, you want to know what all father's dress shoes are? He whips out these black cowboy boots that he had since I was a baby Valkyrie. And it's the same fucking boots. It's always cowboy boots. That's the dress shoe of the of the Wisconsin male. Why? Good luck at work, Sills. Being the RTX 460 cheaper with more VRAM. Yeah, I've been playing recently of the indie survival crafting games. Yeah, it just dropped 110 on a watch. I still hate myself, but that tactical drip though. I would like to get a Fitbit. <laughs> That's a fancy thing I would like to buy, but I won't. But I would like to get a Fitbit. Obi, if you ever upgrade, be careful about 13, 14th gen Intel. I don't think my motherboard can have an Intel. I think I think it's Ryzen, right? I don't think I can put... It can't, yeah. So yeah, no worries. No worries about that. Why are Fitbits crap, Buddha? You think everything's crap. I, I have a hard time believing your opinion when you think everything's crap. No, it's a watch that went with the Galaxy series. It was a second gen. They snap and then people make fun of you for zip tying them together. What? I sound like a problem with the band, not the Fitbit. If I fix these free Apple Watch I got, would you want it? Well, no, nah, it's okay. I don't have, I don't, my, I have a, I have a Samsung phone that I use on the regular. All three of my Fitbits died almost exactly a month after the warranty ran out? Damn. I got the heart rate monitor thingy. It wasn't compatible with my own Samsung watch. I killed so many Fitbits during my Spartan run race. I swapped to Garmin. Haven't had an issue since. Oh, really? Okay, that's two. Two for Garmin. Are Garmin's cheaper? Garmin Fitbit. I don't know what they're called. Smart watches with fitness and health tracking. Sporty GPS smartwatches. Fashion hybrid watches. Fitness tracking bands. Smart scale. Oh, fuck that. No, I don't buy them. Long life. If it works with the phone, you have Garmin Connect app and community extensive health monitoring. Oh my god, they're significantly more expensive. Well, I guess maybe not too bad. But guys... HSA FSA eligible? Let's go. Let's go. 
I like the Lily 2 series. Oh, that's the least expensive one. For once, my taste is not the most expensive. Of course, the color I want is more expensive because that's how my life works. Damn it. Upgrade that Ryzen. Put him. I had. Well, I had the Fitbit on Throne. I could put the Garmin on Throne, I guess. And delete the Fitbit. I didn't realize Fitbits are so bad. Oh, can we read text messages? The fuck? Can I change the background? <laughs> it's kind of looks like an old lady watch, though. Use the Instinct series since the first gen. Upgraded to the second. Still have that one. Bought the crossover and just got the tactics. Very hungry. Wait, what are we talking about? I'm in a bit of a lull at the moment because of bills, but Thrown shenanigans are still on the horizon. Do chicken wings for the clock? That'd be hilarious. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I need to customize. Hold on, I gotta go back. Go back. The Vivo Active. Looks silly. I could get in purple. Oh, the white's pretty neat though. I like the white. Good morning. Activities apps. Do you need to, when you guys have these, do you have to like buy like a plan with it? Like if you get like a smartwatch from like Samsung, you have to buy like a phone plan for it. Do you have to do that with these? Oh wow, you can do blood ox level? That's cool. I like my instinct too. I've had it for two years. Still works fine despite showering with it daily. The only thing I like showering with is my breakfast pop tart every once in a while. Damn. Music storage, Garmin pay. No, Garmin has its own thing. Only payment plan you would need to be like maps. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. I like that. Design your watch now. Oh, select case. The only option it's giving me is one. All right, I guess that's the choose band. White band. Oh, oh, you got red band? You got red? Do we got red? I'm not seeing red. No, no red, big sads. I will do the ivory then. Add to cart. Wow, I picked the exact same thing they were offering. Wait, you guys are saying the instinct? Is there pink? I would buy it. There's pink. There's pink straps. Wait, where did you guys see... Where did you guys see instinct? I just see Vivo Active. What? What? Swimming adventure... Fitness and health training. Is it not on Throne then? Maybe Amazon? What? Oh, I was just looking on, on, um, uh, I was looking on their website. Oh, Garmin Instinct. There it is. It's on Throne. Oh, but they only have it black. That's such a manly looking watch, though. Oh, I can get Deep Orchid, though. Let me see what that looks like. Give me the Deep Orchid. Hold on. All right, wait, wait, wait. That's such a manly looking watch. Amazon, do you have more options? I can just go on. Can we not? Can we not just? I'm looking at the. Here's a go. Here's Deep Orchid. Oh, it's so manly. I was just looking at the Garmin website. That looks like I'm trying to be an operator. I'm not an operator, guys. How much is it though? Oh no, it's the same price. If I got it, but they have other ones. You operate art. I do, but it's not quite the same. I 
I don't want to, I want, I want, I don't really. Get solar garment, make the chicken have to spend time outside. No, that's terrible. Not to be pretentious, but we do need to label yourself. I'm uh, just looking to stay active. I don't want to take calls from my wrist. All right, the Vivo Active is what Garmin says I need. B, can you yap about farm animals? Yeah, I can yap about farm animals, actually. I'm debating. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna. Hold on. I'm gonna. Guys, do I want purple or white? I kind of like the white. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, okay. Here, what I'm, I'm gonna throw this on throne. That doesn't mean you guys have to do it. I'm just gonna throw it there so I don't lose it. Oh, it's can only pay out biscuits. That's fine. For we go gym. Can I put reminders? Like, if I put a reminder on my phone, will it give me the reminder? On my thing? Like, will it vibrate? That's for smart marshes with separate LD. Yeah, yeah, they said, they said that this one doesn't, though. This one doesn't need it. Oh, I was gonna put it crowdfunding. Shoit. Can I change it? Can I? Okay, enable crowdfunding. Yes, there. Save. There. If you get notifications on phone, it'll go to your watch. Amazing. Had to do a car thing. What are we funding? I would they I was I put a Garmin smartwatch thingy majigger on my throne because I was talking about a Fitbit and then everyone in the chat went Fitbit crap. So for once I actually listened to chat. Someone, I, for once, I actually listened to chat. I know that doesn't happen very often, but this one time. Also, Gato gave me a big sip. Guys, we have a horsey. I I had, I had to help a baby horsey. What was that? Yesterday. Yesterday I had to help a baby horsey. Baby horsey was born. Baby horsey is all legs. There's slight concern that the baby horsey might be a mutant, but we're not sure. Biological creature, it's true. Yeah, we're not sure, because his legs are freakishly long and his body is freakishly tiny. So we're not sure if he might actually be a giraffe or not. But, he was struggling to figure out how to eat because his legs were so long and his body was so small. But he figured it out. Yeah, like a ninja turtle. He might, he might be crossed with a giraffe, for all we know. The horse came in as a rescue, so we don't know... We don't know what she bred with, you know what I mean? It could be a giraffe. I wanted to name the animal giraffe, but they told me no. <laughs> like seriously? No, I oh no, I don't think it was actually bred with a giraffe. I don't think giraffes and horses can breed. Can giraffes and horses breed? I think a giraffe is closer to a cow than a horse. Wow, I'm not the first person to look that up. There's no scientific evidence that giraffes can breed with horses. Oh, well, the AI overview did not rate this well. Horses like and other animals, like dogs and cattle, are known to crossbreed. That makes it sound like dogs and cows crossbreed with each other. Giraffes and horses are very different animals. Both are mammals, but they belong to different groups. Well, there you go. Because, like, a zebra can breed with a horse. And, like, a, a donkey. AI yeah, did not cook. Just call it that until they all start calling it. Well, like, so the rescue I volunteer at, they do this thing where, like, you can donate. Um, You can, like, donate a chunk of money and then you can like name it and then they put all those names in the hat and then they pull for a name so it's kind of like a subathon for a baby horse are giraffes even real i've never seen one i touched one's nose once and fed it a leaf i fed i fed it a leaf 
Azores, of course. Zonies are very adorable. I will say that. They're similar to a pony. But they're in fact a zoni. Trasario, one Indian king got one and conquered a whole bunch of land with a giraffe? Did you guys know that giraffes can't swim because of the way their body is? Like, they will always sink. Did you know that? They cannot swim. They will drown. That's crazy. Yep, I knew that. Man, man. Glad I'm not a giraffe. Hold on. What? I got a built in snorkel. Nah, like, if they can keep their feet on the ground, they're good. What is a lie? My good boy rule. No, yeah, you were supposed to get rid of that a long time ago. I kept forgetting. And then I had to go fix something else. I had to fix someone else's mod stuff, so I got rid of it. You're safe from giraffe attacks on the island. As long as the water's deep enough. No, no, no. They're, they sink. They can't keep their heads... Like, they can't... If, if, if their feet can't touch the ground, they sink. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, the people thought it was a god beast and bowed down to the king. Could you imagine, if, like, the final boss in Elden Ring? The Elden Beast? The Elden Beast was just a giraffe. Imagine. Back to Davinci for you, Robo. There's some fat people that can swim despite being more purpose built for- I will stretch. Hello, small. Since they have so much time before they go fully under, they have a hell of time to think about their life choices. How can a hippo be buoyant but a giraffe? I feel like a hippo has a lot more fat on it. Personally. That's just my thoughts, so. though. But it's because their front... The front of their, like, 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 their shoulders and their chest is way heavier than their back. So if they get, like, to swim in, their chest actually pulls their whole body down, which prevents them from keeping their head above water. Hippo's got that surface area, yeah. And Davinci almost made me burn out. Had to not do any major editing for a while. Need to chill with that. You, you're going full crazy, dude. Burnout's rough. I think I've been burnt out for three years now. <laughs> I was reading something, though, with burnout, where it was like, um, burnout is the, is the, um, what's the word? The result of, like, putting in 110% and not seeing 110% of, like, stuff coming back. Like, no real results. The light bulb is dim, but still shining for real, for real. So, like, if if you work at 110% and you see, like, 80% result, like, you can still keep going. But if you're working at 110% and you only see, like, a 10% result, like, that's when burnout starts kicking in. So, but this is where I'm stuck, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to have some honesty with you. Um... I have been stuck in 20 viewer hell for like three years now. That's me at work for two years, for now, for two years, right? All things is there in a tech job, got past HR and team leader already. Amazing. I hope you get it, Robo. Um, I've been stuck in like 20 viewer hell for like three years now, which is, I think, the main part of my burnout. Just to torment you. So it's like, I feel like I've been like working as, as, much of a capacity as I can, right? Because, like, I work full-time and stuff, so I can't devote, like, my entire time to this. Bad news, it's Java. I fucking hate Java! Oh, Fuck Java! Oh, I hate Java so much. But, yeah. So, like, but! But, guys. But. When we were doing the day streams, <laughs> I lost a viewer during all that. <laughs> but during the day streams, I had, I didn't have as high of a viewer count. Maybe I did. I don't remember. 
I had, but I was getting lots of follows and stuff during the day. And, and watching that happen, like, almost kind of made it worse. Because I can't stream during that time slot very often. And I was doing some research a couple weeks ago, and the time slot that I stream at is literally the worst time it's like one of the two worst time slots to be streaming on twitch <laughs> which is super neat so i guess saying that i should be very proud that i am where i am streaming in like the literal worst time slot for twitch um so i guess there's something to be said with that <laughs> so like i am proud of myself for that don't worry i just got the discord stream announcement how i added everybody how did you just get that Don't want to stream at peak. Don't want to stream at low. Yeah. Yeah, it do conflict with many schedules. Right. Which is why I, when I was on, I like post on Facebook and Twitter. I'm like, why don't you guys come to stream? And then a lot of people were like, I didn't even know you streamed, which I thought was crazy. But a lot of people are like at work or sleeping right now. So it's like, it's currently summer lull. Pretty much everyone view count is down for a bit longer. Yeah. But like everybody's working or sleeping right now and i'm like this is literally and that's why i decided that's why i was like damn this is the worst time slot so then it was kind of like sucked to stream during the day and how much like easier it was because i was awake and i wasn't exhausted from the day and i could focus on what i was doing and i got to really hang out and chit chat and stuff and then to get all the follows and the viewers and stuff watching and then to like know that i can't stream at that time regularly like it kind of crushed me a little bit I've been meaning to stop by one of your streams for a while, but never could due to time. Oh, yeah, no. So it's like, I was afraid. No, you are all good. I'm so happy you are here. Um, I was really worried about asking people why they don't come to stream. Because I don't want people to feel like I'm getting mad that they're not there. It was more of like a, a research type situation. Because, like, I don't know unless I ask, right? But I was worried people were going like, to be like, I'm like, why don't you come to stream? How poor are all of you that you can't even donate $5? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you mad at me for being busy. Yeah, God damn it, Arcus. How dare you? You probably have one of those social lives, too. Disgusting. Disgusting, Arcus. I bet you have a functioning family unit as well dick <laughs> sorry i have weddings and baby showers look he's functioning adult disgusting look at him honestly it's because all kinds of these things compete for my time and attention you don't always get to win i know and like i said i'm not mad at anyone or I, like i don't take it personally one of my rules has always been like in real life comes first so i don't take it I was about to make an eye friends and family like you would know joke. Yeah, I did it myself. Don't worry, Arcus. I already shot myself in the head. Don't worry. <laughs> new floor, new walls, new ceiling. I should switch to construction. Robo, if you would like to come do my bathroom next, that would be amazing. Arcus is a man that can afford his own rope. I respect that. Brutal. But, yeah. So, I was just... So, like... Being at the level that I am at the worst time slot is kind of impressive, right? But it does still suck to be in the 20, 20 viewer hell. Because <laughs> there's so many um, opportunities that I can't do because I'm only stuck at 20 concurrent viewers. Which blows, but... Robo, I can teach you some construction. No! Okay, okay, Robo, 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 Robo. Go... Goose and I are in the same state. So you can come do my bathroom and then you can go visit Goose. And, and then it'll make it worth it. I do try to lurk if I can't chat. Oftentimes I am there. I'm just not talking. Oh, he's here. He's here with us in spirit. Wow, but not. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're here too. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to dox anybody like Joey just did. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have friends to tell to watch the stream. Guys, I'm not I'm not saying you guys are doing anything wrong. You're not. I'm just talking. 
You guys don't understand. Guys, you're fine! I'm not saying you guys are doing anything fine! You're not doing anything wrong. To be fair, I know a lot of content creators won't, like, talk about this kind of stuff because I don't think they want to sound like complainers. Um, but I know there's a couple people in my chat that, like, are either streamers or want to stream. And I feel like talking about the realities of streaming and content creation is kind of important. Twitch changed the thing with the volume at one point, right? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I stopped by a stream and she bullied me for not being there. Yeah, you dick. So you're saying I need to hold my friends at gunpoint and make them watch, right? Yeah, and on their own computers. I'm a mod. It's true. People are saying if you muted the stream, you're no longer... I don't think so. Also, I believe if you're watching more than three streams, you're no longer counted as a viewer in any of the streams. I believe that's still a thing. That's why a lot of the bots and stuff don't count as viewers. So if, like, I always feel bad because people will, like, post on Twitter. And they're like, I'm helping all my friends. And they have, like, 20 streams up. I'm like, you're not counting as a viewer for any of them. Listen, if you're in the stream, you need to give the streamer $5. How do you not have $5? How do you not have $5? Are you poor? People like to act holier than thou when it comes to talking about viewer count. But if you're looking to go full time, then you kind of got to look at the numbers. Exactly. I always hate I always hate it when people give like the very well intentioned, um, the very well intentioned advice of don't look at the view count. But like, you ha if you do want to do this in like some serious capacity, you have to. You have to care about the view count. You have to like now. Like granted, that shouldn't be your only driving force, right? That should be part of a larger puzzle. The view count matters as a piece of the content creation puzzle we have a couple open it does stop counting as a viewer in the old ones because it stops you from getting drops if you have two more ah each tab is different Ugh, i can't Ugh. each tab is a different account and a different ip damn guys chat's bopping today good thing i have no intention of going full time that said for those who do i get it how does one have so much ad ADD to watch more than one thing. Lots of people do that. So, Dobo Rock isn't real. <laughs> Hello, Amonia. So, I can only pick like three at a time. Yeah, I believe, the, I believe the cutoff is three, if I remember correctly. I cast you to my Google Home and then go fuck off and pop in when I hear something that piques my interest. I feel like I feel like a bird in a cage sometimes. Like, I feel like you guys put me somewhere and then just let me babble out into the ether. Like you would if you had a pet bird. <laughs> View count is a goal you gotta track. Gotta be able to analyze your own content and see where you may need to prove. Exactly. You don't have a subway server video running next to me? You need to look, gather data. You oh my god, it's moving so fast. Yes, like a canary. Use analytics. What does well, what doesn't, one in the stream, what not. Research, research, research. Right. You're currently on my desk yapping. Yeah, guys, I'm just a desk pet. I'm an I'm a noisy desk pet. Time to drop her off in a Best Buy and all the fridges. Amazing. We still take my internet and dare not count me as viewer. Yeah, really do like background noise, more noise, less inside thoughts. It's true. Like a cockatoo. Yeah. Should I just rebrand as a cockatoo? Would you guys still love me if I was a cockatoo? I just repeat what I heard from others. Clipping with wings. <laughs> No, maybe. <laughs> damn, damn, Commissar's like, no, fuck you. <laughs> mm, no, most of <laughs> Which one is the cockatoo? They're the ones that have like the little, like, purr, like the mohawk, the little feathery mohawk. Purr, purr. Uh, but yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, viewer count. Yeah, so I don't know. I've been a little, I like, because there's stuff I have to do. I actually have. There's so much stuff I have to do and I just don't want to do it. So I feel like there's some level of burnout and I don't know how to fix it right now because I feel like the only way I'm going to be able to like really, really, really fix it is to just stop doing everything for a month or two and I I don't want to do that. I mean like stop doing everything. Stop streaming, stop social media, stop being active in the Discord. I mean just completely detach. I, I don't think I want to do 
that sucks so many people are burnt out lately it feels like it comes and goes in waves why am i blinking one eye at a time um but i think a, lo a lot of it my personal method is gaslighting myself into believing my next idea is the one i yeah that's mine too it never is though <laughs> Yeah, I blink like this in real life. <laughs> That's just how I'm blinking. You can always scale back a while. Just do streams or something easy, relaxing for you for a while. Um, honestly, if I would scale back, the first things to go would be the streams because um, <laughs> Jesus, that scared me. Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Did you guys even hear that? Did it come through? Farts scares herself. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, because, like, the other things I have to do is, like, the coffee stuff with the stickers, right? And then the Warlord's Night. And there's um, my commissions. And those I can't not do because there's money tied to them like ahead of time she hates warlords no it does make me sad when no one can show up though <laughs> we have to figure out the movie too guys i know a bunch of people listed them in the in the discord and i don't remember any of them but that's other stuff I have to do, you know? Or my display picture for 30 days. That's other stuff I have to get on top of. Can we pull back before you break? I just, I, the only thing I can pull back right now is, is streaming. But, I, I, and I was, I was toying with the idea of taking off in August and just not streaming the entirety of August. Because I have to take, I'm going on vacation the end of August anyway. Get new ideas, start a new project, have you want to finish project. Most people fail here. Yeah, it's true. It's just that if I'm gone on one, I'm usually gone on the other. You're always gone. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about, but then like my, my four year affiliate anniversary is in August. So then I was like, do I just take off in August and then stream on my affiliate anniversary? Or do I just not? Like, cause like me taking off or I, I think I took off, did I take off earlier this year where I just didn't stream for like a month? Didn't I do that? <laughs> didn't I do that once already this year? <laughs> Pretty sure I did. Hold on, let me look. I'm pretty sure I did though. Yeah, so, oh, maybe that's cause I was on YouTube. But, like, a good chunk of March I didn't stream. And see, so they gotta be gorilla streams. It's true. Gorilla. So, okay. Yeah, that's probably when I was on YouTube. So maybe I didn't take a break this this year. But I definitely took a break last year and the year before. YouTube. Was it that trauma? Was YouTube that traumatizing, guys? Was YouTube that traumatizing? I won't be going back to YouTube. So you guys don't have to worry about that. I got it out of my system. That's really what needed to happen. I just needed to get out of my system. I don't want to work for Vistro Joe is the problem. <laughs> I don't like half the people that stream at Vistro Joe. Actually, I shouldn't say that. A lot of them left already. Um, But, no, I don't... Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> Shots fired. I don't like fruit. It's fruit. Wow. Valid though. <laughs> Small valid. Oh, what's that? You mentioned an opinion on another streamer trying to cancel you. I don't. Yeah. Go for it. Then I'll have a good reason to take a break in August. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. So I, yeah, I don't think I would, um, I don't think I would get, uh, accepted either. Drama, ooh, no, take a break, ooh, no. And that's not, like, a, a dig to me that I would, like, oh, my content sucks, they never take me, sort of thing. It's just I don't, I don't have the availability. So unless V Shoujo was willing to pay me more than I make at my big girl job without me working for them right away. You know what I mean? Like, they'd have to be like, okay, we're going to match your salary, and then you can quit your job right now, and then you can just, we can just pay you, even though you're relatively untested. <laughs> you know what I mean? Advance. So. <laughs> that would be, what, and I don't know. I mean, most of them act untested, yeah. No, there's definitely some, like, really good, uh, good beans in V Shoujo. I just, I don't think I would vibe with them as well. You don't need money, think of it. It's, exposure isn't gonna pay for my Costco runs. Ah, uh, but you just need to know, join Niji instead. Yes, yeah, so I can have a mental breakdown and then take off. To keep it 100, you've got cash on hand to take such a risk. Uh, oh my god. To keep it 100, you got cash on hand to make such rich, but you're right, they probably wouldn't. They probably wouldn't. Give up a steady, reliable big boy job for unreliable content creation gig. Yeah, I would need like a, I would need like a big old like, <laughs> you're gonna be safe. Axel the short, short trans, trans king? Thank you for the follow, welcome to the meat hall. Why are my alerts turned off? Oh, they're under, are they under? There we go. It was under. That explains a lot. Thank you for the follow. Until literally didn't know V Shoujo was a thing until last week. What? I'll pay for Costco runs. Let's go. I had a Costco hot dog today. Yep, that's my name, Yetus. That's a long name. Money all that matters, UV. Um, to pay my bills and live at that point, yes. A little bit. I would like to live. Now that you follow, she hates you too. Nah. Glizzy. And hunt for food. There's like bunnies and deer in my yard, but I do not wish to murder them. They are too cute. They are far too cute for the murder. Yeah, no, I went to Costco with um all mother, guys. Can I just can I just explain to you how traumatizing that was to go to Costco with all mother? So like I got a Costco membership. No hurt to Bonani. I know after I saved three of them, I cannot hunt them. I have band cans around. My cats are going to die. It's nine to six. Oh my God. Make sure to stretch. I know. I told, I told all mother that I got to, I got to take pictures and videos of the chickens. Getting hated by a vegan. <laughs> like, so I got a Costco membership and then I went there by myself last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. And, like, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff, but I got some stuff, right? So then I go this weekend, and I bring all mother, because, like, I can bring her on my membership. And I was like, hey, check it out. And then if you like it, like, I can bring you home stuff from here, and then you can just pay me back. And then you guys don't have to pay for a membership, right? But then for some reason, my mother has it in her head that, like, she needs to have a membership, too. And, like, she is really obsessed with that 2% cash back on, like, the executive membership, which is really weird. I'm not sure why. Why she. She's obsessed with that, but she is. So she didn't. She like, well, if you do that, can I get the cash back for, like, what I purchased? I was like, I'm not doing the math to give you 2% cash for what you purchased. No. And she's like, well, maybe I'll get my own membership. And I was like, that's fucking weird. But okay. I'm just letting you know, every $200 you spend, you get $2. Oh, no, you get $4. You get $4. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm not really sure why that became an obsession with her. But it did. So we go down. My mother insists on driving because her car is bigger and we can fit more stuff in. So she insists on driving. And my mother, bless her soul, she drives that direction several times a month. And 
I don't know how she hasn't died yet because she slams on the gas and then slams on the brakes and then slams on the gas and slams on the brakes and there is no gentle stops in her repertoire. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. I was terrified. So then, and like she hit a bump, like there was like, it said like a bump, you know, like the signs, there were signs that said bump. She hits it like 40 miles per hour and almost sends me through the roof. So we finally get there. We're not dead. Everything's okay. Somehow. She couldn't like find the, <laughs> the old whiplash technique. She couldn't find Costco, even though it was like the giant building right next to us. She's like, where is it? Where is it? I'm like, it's right. It's right. It's right. It's right there. It's right there next to it. It's right there. She's like, I can't see it. I'm like, the giant building. She's like, that's not Costco. I'm like, that's the giant building is Costco. Best case use for those cash backs stuff is either stuff you basically need to buy anyway. Gas groceries or you're running a business and you need to buy things anyways. I'm, I'm just hoping to get enough cash back to pay for the membership, I think, is my plan. Yeah, the warehouse. Costco turns into a house during the full moon. Uh, but yeah, so we finally find it. And then, like, <laughs> my poor mom. My mom is one of those people that will, like, park a cart diagonally in the aisle and then walk 20 feet away to look at something else. And if anyone's ever been to a Costco when it's really, 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 really busy, because apparently Sundays are its busier days, um, there is no hope of, like, any kind of traffic. <laughs> Any kind of like traffic, like flow of traffic, you know, where like everyone on the right's going this way and everyone on the left is going this way. Like everyone's just going wherever the hell they want, right? And my mom's just dropping her cart. And like, I was like, mom, like we'll get one cart, right? And we'll just put all of our stuff in one cart and then we'll just split it up, you know, versus because I, I thought I was paying because I had the cost, you know, like I was paying. Because I had the Costco membership, right? But no, 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 she wanted two carts. So, like, I'm trying to navigate my huge cart. And then she's parking her cart wherever the hell she wants. And I'm just like, mother, 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 please. And then, damn, you shop like this? I know, I just wanted one cart. I wanted to keep it simple and, like, chill and relax. And then my mother, like, buys lobster tails. My mother buys, like, a whole salmon. She buys a really expensive double-barrel whiskey. No, it was bourbon. Double-barrel bourbon. That was, like, a huge bottle. She bought, like, all this really fancy stuff. And then, like, we leave. I'm so paranoid of being in someone's way that if I need to stop for something, turn around and make sure no one... I do that, too! Sometimes you just gotta make every man for themselves. It's true. So, like, so, like, I get, like, the stuff I need, which is, like, sponges, dish soap. I think I got, what did I get that was, like, a treat? Oh, I got one bottle of $8 wine, right? I got, I got frozen burritos. <laughs> so, like, I, I, we go to check out, and, like, she ended up paying, like, $10 more than me, but I had twice as much stuff in my cart. And then she's, like... She's like, we're leaving. We're getting in the car. And she's like, you know, that wasn't as good of a deal as I thought it was going to be. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she goes like, well, I got, I didn't get that much stuff. And like, my bill was almost like, my bill was more than yours. And I'm like, mom, you bought lobster tails, mom. <laughs> you bought, you bought four lobster tails and a whole fish, mother. I didn't. I bought an $8 bottle of wine. <laughs> it was very funny. But I, so I don't know if she's going back or not. I don't know if she's getting a membership. Salmon's so good. I did buy I did buy salmon. I just bought one filet though. I didn't buy like a whole bunch of fish. Because I'm a one person. Bless her, she tried. I think she saw lobster and I think it just went downhill from that. To be honest with you. They had sockeye salmon there, but I've never had sockeye salmon, and it was a different color, so I was kind of like, I didn't want to try it, but maybe next time I'll try it. Maybe when I run out of salmon. 
You got a long boy and cut. Yeah, see, I got a long boy and I cut in little snackies too. This makes me want to physically crawl under a rock. Why? <laughs> it was a fun time. Make sure ramen gets a little salmon. Oh, I wonder if he liked the salmon. But now I'm trying to figure out why the salmon was so cheap comparatively to where I get salmon at the normal grocery store. And so when I was trying to like portion the salmon out, like all of a sudden I'm like, I, I had a hard time cutting through the skin. And I was like, what the hell is going on with this? Like, why is this so hard? My knife is sharp enough. And then I realized that um, it's fine. It's just better salmon for grilling, not so much for sushi. Ah. Um, they didn't descale the salmon, and that is probably why it was significantly cheaper, because they didn't do the work of descaling it. So now I have to descale it. Some psycho bought like eight of those pre cut salmon meal portions uncooked. It was like six more dollars a pound. Brutal. Whew, I'm sweating. Why? Did you go up a flight of stairs? So, yeah, that was my adventure at Costco. Although my mom did appreciate the glizzy, so at least there's that. Damn V, that's rude. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> I meant to say he likes it, but I said he deserves it instead. <laughs> Just packed a barrel with stuff to donate to poor people and oh wow, he's being nice for once and I'm being an ass. Damn. <laughs> Recently discovered Aldi, my favorite place now. Very efficient place. I have an Aldi. I don't like going there, though. <laughs> Aldi, my Aldi is like a, it's like Costco, but in a tinier form, but just as insane. It's like a small Costco, like a tiny Costco, but like the same amount of people in it, it feels like. So, like, I don't like going to Aldi. <laughs> Aldi is weird German trinkets. I don't really have German trinkets in my Aldi. I don't think I do. But, yeah. Aldi is German. No, I know Aldi is German, but I don't have trinkets in mine. I don't think. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No trinkets? Why even live? I I mean it's got like around Christmas it has like um like advent calendars and stuff. Aldi's is like Adidas? What? Aldi's nuts, yeah? Aldi's nuts? Yeah? Hi Rai! If Bleach are rich, I get it. Bleach has a cleaning lady. He's a little spoiled BB. Well, that's Aldi I live near got hit with a tornado. Damn. What's an Aldi's? It's like a... So it's a German grocery store, but basically a lot of the stuff is like off-brands, I think. And then um, they don't... You... Nothing... There's... Hmm. Hold on. My brain is dying. Okay, so you have to pay to use a cart. And then you get your money back when you're done with the cart. And that saves them on paying people to put the carts back. And then, like, they don't bag your stuff. You have to pay for bags. And they basically take stuff out of your cart and throw it into another cart after, after they check it out. They literally throw it. And, and yeah. And, and, and it's all off-brand. And... Bringing your bags is easy. Yeah, bringing your own bags. Cart costs a quarter. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys have boring store names. I think we have shit like S Market. We have Quick Trip. Spent 150 bucks on anime women on the internet tonight. I made a woman cry. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like an off brand store. But like, um, so like when I was a young Valkyrie. It was like, it was, it's always been like the, 
it's always been like the poor people's store, right? But like it used to be like also low quality, I feel like when I was a kid. And now like a lot of they have like a lot more higher quality stuff. So it's very affordable. Hello, Nikos. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you. Oh, is it pink woman? Is it the pink woman? Or is it blue woman tonight? Oh, I see. Guys, have, guys, am I yellow? Am I yellow woman? Pink woman did a watch along. Oh, I see. Walmart was a poor store growing up. No, that's offensive. Oh, I see. What am I then? Your chicken lady? I'm not a color. I'm not a color. Uh, for me, Walmart was slightly higher tier uh, because I didn't have a Walmart in my city growing up. We had a fleet farm. And then like a grocery store. We didn't have a Walmart though. Walmart's still the poor store. That's why Target exists. I saw it as red and yellow. Yeah. Yellow woman is the other one? What? What's the other? Who's the yellow woman? I have disdain for Publix. I've never been to a Publix. I don't think of a color when imagining your character. Damn! I'm just straight chicken. Target's for people who don't doesn't understand aesthetic. Target used to have really good aesthetic, and now they don't have any aesthetic. You ever seen a Win Dixie? Mmm. Have I? I've never been in one. I might have seen one in passing, but I don't think so. We've got them jewel Oscos. Ah, oh, yes, we used to. I used to. There used to be a jewel Osco here, but they went under. I've never seen a Greg's. That sounds sketchy. Greg sounds like a an off-brand Waffle House. Red Owl has one too. You were a Valkyrie, then you slap flappy bits on your head. No, no, no. Everyone has these flappy bits. Red Owl isn't around anymore. I've never heard of Red Owl. I'm trying to think of like the weird store I had around here. Jack in the Box is definitely not a grocery store. Oh, Jack in the Box is so gross. I would rather starve than eat Jack in the Box. You used to have a stable out here in a Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly! Shot the pig! <laughs> I go to a store that's literally called Sale. The funny thing is that the store is more expensive than the other store called Prisma. They have the same parent company and the same line of product. Oh my god. Greg's Cafe food is amazing. Nah, I will literally throw up if I have to go in. Like, if I if if someone walks me into a Jack in the Box, I will literally just throw up in the entranceway. Oh, Kmart! You go to the Kmart cafe and you get a slushy. Damn, I'm aging myself right now. I go to the same Stop and Shop I did as a child. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other weird stores. I forgot about Kmart. A path mark? We had, um, Quiznos. Quiznos used to be good. I've never heard of KB Toys. Wait, that sounds familiar. You could afford Kmart slushy? Kmart slushy was like a dollar, dude. Never understood the hype Jack in the Box got slash has. I tried it once and it was awful. It's straight grease. Like, if you like just, like, drinking grease, then Jack in the Box is perfect. No, I didn't get allowance. I'm trying to think, because we would only go to Kmart for very specific things. Jack in the Box is big gross. Drinking grease. Sugar, why did you come back for drinking grease? I don't understand. You should eat, Chuggle. Not eating is bad for you. I'm trying to think of what else we got. No, you do not have to lube up the insides. You don't. You really don't. You really don't. 
I do enjoy Grease with Jack in the Box. Um, one thing between moving from here to Arizona was the difference between Carl's Jr. and Hardy's. And you probably should, but I guess you could do it. <laughs> Ew. Oh, yeah, fries. Jeez. Okay. Thank you, Zelman. <gasps> Is that a heart attack? Why do the farts scare me so much? I'm, I have a fear of farts. I went to Wendy's in Tennessee once. It was like they did the burger in a pool of grease. I was drenched like someone getting out of a pool. Disgusting. Disgusting. They're both the thick. I thought it was a mid. No, yeah, no, they both exist. In the in the Midwest, they're Hardee's, but in the West, it's Carl's Jr. Guac Burger. But they're they're like the same, but not. They're like siblings. They don't always have the same food, and honestly, I feel like Hardee's is lower quality, which is unfortunate. Oh uh, yeah, I went to Sonic a couple times. Guys. Guys, I've been to Ikea once. I went to Ikea once and I did not eat the meatballs. I didn't have the meatballs. Might as well get a torta. Get a torta. Quiero un torta. I don't know why you would. They're terrible. I don't know. For the meme? For the meme? Probably. I do a lot of shit for the meme, Goose. That was perfect! Yes! I got it! I said it so well! I win! What's the meatball meme? You gotta get the meatballs from Ikea. Bleach, next time you go to Ikea, can you get the meatballs and tell me what they taste like? For science? The balls of meat. I'll do it just for you, V. Thank you. Can you take a picture of them, too? Those are good meatballs for real, for real. Just got my cheap Swedish flat pack furniture. Come <laughs> on! I'm gonna get canceled on the internet now. Twitter's gonna shut it down. Twitter's gonna be like, no, how dare you? Not me. Or not bleach, they'll cancel me. I want the shark from IKEA. I want I want I want a whole bathroom from IKEA and a kitchen. Direct Twitter to me, I'll take care of them. Okay, noted. Bleach, you're gonna be my Twitter PR if something ever goes down. It'll be you. I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't, but that was, like, I never had an Ikea cinnamon roll either. Ikea's weird, though. Ikea was a weird place. It was, like, a liminal space. Meatballs are notoriously good and have the same effect as Taco Bell on your weekend. Taco Bell doesn't destroy me, though. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's it's very limited. Like I wanted to just sit in one of the like their like room builds that they like they build up the rooms. I wanted to just sit in a room build. She's built different. They're weak and I judge them. Yeah, I don't know. IKEA can creep you out. Yeah, like if you go on a slow day, I'd imagine or like right in the morning that'd be super spoopy. Cause they went around like adding random arrows on the floor. Oh no. The reason talk about gets people in toilets because they're not used to the amount of fiber from the beans. Oh, it may be. I, oh yeah, like when I found those lights at Ikea that like if you squished them, they like swirled and like got tiny and then you could like expand them. That was very hard not to just impulse buy like nine of them. Ikea's not real. I bet you also own Legos. I do own Legos. What do you believe human nature is? I don't know. I'm not human. Boops. Speaking of Ikea, I need to get more display cases for some unplanned mini purchases. Oh no. Kami's going broke. Secret is to look up what you want and just beeline to the warehouse instead of walking through the whole showing section. They usually have shortcuts directly there. 
No, no, I must. I must walk through the store. Just go to Hobby Lobby. That's so much more dangerous. Now, you know, I will say I wouldn't go to Hobby Lobby for shelves because they're really expensive there. They're like insanely expensive. Like furniture. I wouldn't buy furniture from Hobby Lobby, I don't think. Unless it's like steeply discounted because they're like, uh, furniture is always 30% off. But like if it's always 30% off, that's just a normal sticker price. It's not actually on sale. There's a psychopath and cannot be trusted. Well, there you go, Bleach. You cannot trust Robo. He is a psychopath. I'm finally convinced that having paintball match in a stock that key after dark would be amazing. Yes. Cole's got sued for that? For what? Grab all the blahas. <laughs> Herbal Jarbal, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Oh my god. They just came auto modded left and right. Oh, artificially inflated prices? That doesn't surprise me. I don't buy stuff at Kohl's anymore either. That's how Walmart does things. Everything everyone wants. Ugh. Towards the back, so they have to walk past everything else. That makes sense. Literally 1984. <laughs> I like how Blaze is like, or Cosmo's like, eh, not that one. How are you going to get rid of your Kohl's cash? The same sales as always, yeah. V, can you relay my message through? Oh, yeah, sure, hold on. Uh, let me go back and find it. Ro uh, Robo, please pay attention. Bleach has a very important message with for you. Um, He says, at the Robo Dock, the second you land in New York, I'm going to make out with you on site. That's what he said. And I can't without getting caught. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I watch like a hawk have a list of things I need, so I'm very aware of the prices. Yep, I seen it. Sags? <laughs> Is this Sags? Have you been following you for a while? On Facebook, finally got to catch a stream. Yay! Well, I'm glad you made it. Welcome, welcome. Looking through the showing section literally just makes you spend more. And I've been to my local Ikea so many times I can't be bothered. I can't imagine having an Ikea locally. That's so wild to me. I changed my Twitch chatting. I should just localize all of Blitch's... Blitch's. <laughs> I should just localize all of Bleach's chats. My Ikea is two hours away. Yeah, mine's... Mine's... Mine's far away, too. I think mine's four hours. Five? Blotch. Amazing. Quick, rename him Blotch. You can't do anything about it. Blitch. You are now Blitch. There's all Alright, fine. There was something else I wanted to talk about today and I can't remember it. I, like, really should write these lists down. I don't know. I don't know. I tried to get my streaming, like, my, like, figure out my streaming schedules out, like, at least two weeks in advance so I don't have to worry about it. I have to get the stickers out yet. I'm going to do that on Tuesday, I think. And then, so I'll get those out soon for people that paid, um, for the Yotun, uh, coffee membership levels and up. And then we got to do more stuff. Not like you have a channel for that. Like, all your likes or anything. I feel like, yeah, I know. I know. You know, the whole product selection and most common items not walking through the endless corridor of fake rooms. Like, all three are 45 minutes of each other in different parts of the city. That's wild, dude. That's wild. <laughs> I know, I have I have a note section in the Discord that that you guys, well, most of you can't see. And I don't, I really should use it. I have notes in my phone. I have three notebooks. I have a note section in the Mead Hall Discord, in the Valhalla Discord. I have, an, I have a note section in, like, my own personal Discord that I'm in alone. I have a note section on my computer. I <laughs> I have, I have a dump notebook. I have a note section on my fridge. I forget to use the note section. 
it's, it's Elysium Skiff all over again. I know. That's like my major, major problem is I just, I can't stay consistent about where I put stuff. Make sure he lives in a very dangerous area. Every sticker you send him puts his mailman at risk. I know. We need to go back to doing Elysium Skiff stuff. Right now, the, uh, the hyperfixation, though, is not on Elysium Skiff. That's the issue. That's the issue. My hyperfixations, guys. I told you about that. They they flip flop. That's why we haven't done any skiff stuff. It's not that I don't want to work on. Well, no, I mean that's exactly what it is. It's not that skiff. It's not that. What is happening with my eye? It's not that skiff is over, right? We're still working on it. It's just a hyperfixation is someplace else. It's someplace else. It's not on Elysium skiff. Actually, I've kind of been wanting to work on like a TTRPG type system now. I think th everyone thank Caboose for that. So I, I kind of wanted to sit down and just like stoodle some shit about that. But I don't even know where I would start with that. But I did get a bottle of wine. So maybe tomorrow. It's on the himbos in Costco. I know it's true. Oh, I didn't even see a himbo. Lots of Indian people though. Just say fixation. Hyperfixation makes you sound gen alpha. But it is a hyperfixation. No, no, I don't stream tomorrow, do I? I don't stream tomorrow, do I? Pretty sure I don't. I didn't even do like a streaming thing. No, I don't stream tomorrow. I know this, I know this, I know the schedule's hard to read. I know it's difficult to read. I don't even read the schedules anymore. Dan, he just doesn't care. But yeah, I was thinking about... I don't wear my glasses. Beginning getting the bot has ruined my passion? Dan! You need to start with defining the dice system and then deciding the main stats you want. I don't think I'm going to do any of that. I'll stop paying attention to schedules. They're kind of useless to me anyhow. Damn, you guys, you're making me feel sad. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking of like a rock, paper, scissors type situation like between the three different like between like guardian strikers and conduits now. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, you work all the time now, Bleach, though. Dummy. Apparently, Goose, you are. Apparently. When I'm not jogging, I'm watching. Damn! Ammonia! Bleach says you're in a dangerous neighborhood and you're jogging? My bad. Life is expensive. Bro, you don't need to buy the Versace. You don't need to. Ammonia, what are you running from? Dang! He just calls you out like that! Non-negotiable. But yeah, so I'm I'm trying to think of I wanna I wanted to have very simple combat. Not like super stupid simple like D and D four E, but like I hate I hate dungeon like that is my one thing with Dungeons and Dragons. I abhor combat. Like I hate it. I hate combat in Dungeons and Dragons. It's awful. It's terrible. It's why I have stopped playing Baldur's Gate because Baldur's Gate somehow took something. That was already really boring and made it even more boring. I hate combat. I hate it. That's gonna be like my one big thing was like ch like chill out on combat. It's it's awful. It's terrible. It's so boring. I I cannot express to you how much I hate combat in Dungeons and Dragons. <coughs> it's cause like if you have. The combat itself you hate, or just 5e combat in particular? I hate... The problem with combat in Dungeons & Dragons, and I don't think it's just 5e in particular. I learned Dungeons & Dragons on 3.5, uh, but it's been a very long time since I played a system other than 5e. The problem with combat is it's very tedious, and there's lots of math, and no one pays attention. It's not engaging enough to keep people paying attention until it's their turn. Which means if you have six people in combat, it's going to take an hour just to do a round of combat. And I would rather do literally anything else than sit there and stare at someone and go, 
Um, uh, no, I can't use that spell. Ah, uh, how far am I from everyone? No, I can't use that spell. Um, uh, um, maybe I, you know what? I'm just gonna move forward and then use the, uh, what is it? The brace reaction or whatever. Literally never touch another TTRPG. What race classes do you play? I'm like really stupid and play clerics way too much. Have you done a Monster Hunter stream V? No, I have Monster Hunter World, but I've not streamed it. Munchkin has the best. Munchkin is fun. Does this kind of stop me from continuing to act too? See? Commissar knows what I'm talking about. The alien RPG is fine because the characters can be insta gabbed or go insane and run away from something. Six people? That's way too many. I prefer smaller parties, but I always end up... I think the biggest party I've ever been a part of was eight, and I wanted to throw myself out a window. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I just... I don't... I think... And the other problem I had is because a lot of, like, the stupid things that you can do to be creative are behind feats. So, like, we had, for a while, we had a DM, and he was, like, our forever DM, and we did, like, three campaigns with him, I think. And he wouldn't allow you to do things if it was something that you could do with, like, a feat. Because, like, it wouldn't be fair if someone had the, like, they took the feat, but then you were doing, like, like, um, uh, I'm trying to think of one specifically. Like, Brawler, I believe, was one where you can, like, pick up, like, non-weapon objects and, like, hurt people with it. So, like, his rule was if you had, like, that feat, you could do that sort of thing. <clears throat> but if you didn't have that feat, you couldn't. So, like, if you're in combat, like, you could literally, you couldn't be creative. And that really took away from, like, the role-playing aspect. But at the same time, if you had, like, six people trying to do weird shit because they're bored, that would also be really annoying. Now, monks get insane at higher levels, too. They're not just punch kick, either. But then, like, it's also really boring to be like, okay, I rolled a 19 to hit. Okay, here's my damage. Okay, I rolled a 17 to hit. Oh, I miss. Okay. Okay, I rolled a 5. Okay, I didn't hit. Okay, I rolled a 21 to hit. Here's my damage. You know what I mean? Like, that's also boring. Like, granted, I think part of that's, like, the DM, but at the same time, like, DMs manage a lot already, so the, the essence of spice up all combat, especially when they can last several hours, it's just, I feel like, too much. Joey's amazing. Well, Joey won't DM for me. Stupid fuck. So I don't know, I don't even know what I would do for a system, but I just know I don't like D&D's combat at all. Why me? Yeah, I'm good. I really like d and I also am like kind of sad. I wish, and again, this is like a DM complaint, but I wish the DMs that I've had in the past, and I understand why they don't, because I've DM'd before, and DMing is a lot of work, so... Like, kudos, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Joey. Like, kudos, I'm trying to give you a compliment, and you're calling me a liar. Um, kudos to the free forever DMs. Um, it, it is a lot of work. Like, I wish DMs would wrap people's story, like, the backstories into the actual story more, to the point where, like, like, it actually felt like you weren't just... Like, that's the thing with Baldur's Gate, right? Is that, like, you're a, you're a game character being exposed to the story. Like, it's being laid out in front of you. You're, like, watching a movie almost. Like, I know there's some things that, like, happen to you and things like that, but it's not, like, super ingrained as if you were playing, like, Asterion or if you're playing Gale or if you're playing Shadowfart. Like, you know, it's your story's ingrained with the actual plot, and I wish more DMs would, like, do that. Which is extremely hard to balance when you have multiple players. So it's like, I wish more DMs did something like that. 
It does bother me that you're John Boulder's Gate and Boulder's Gate and everyone else gets a real story. Yeah. About my girl Shadow Fart. Shadow Fart. Shadow Fart. Shadow Fart. Shark. 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 So, like, yeah, that's my. Those are my complaints, I guess. About D and D, I I always hated big parties though too. That dirge is canon all oh, that way. Um, I like I think four players is like good. Would you even DM for chat? I don't know how I would do that. I think it would be fun, but I don't know how I would do it. I did that in my campaign. V. One of our party members is time traveling battle maniac. He got drawn into party's time due to time confluence, and the party used his power to time travel and complete a quest in the past. We're too silly. I'm okay at ad libbing. The first time I DM'd, I was really, really good. <laughs> it was one of those situations where I got cocky. The first time I DM'd, it ended up really, really good, and the players had tons of fun. It was a good time. And then the second time, I got too cocky, and I got really sucked into, like, trying to tell my story. Both of these were one shot, so I've never done a full campaign. Um, but I really got, like, really focused on trying to tell my story and not wrapping in the player's story. And it wasn't, like, the greatest thing ever. But I learned from it. I hit a dude in the head with my hammer. You cast a whole banana at the Wendigo. The Wendigo wanted to get up. It do be like that though. But I've fallen and I can't get up. That would be my thing though if I did like a I don't I like I said, I don't know what I would do. Um for a combat. For like I don't have a lot of exposure. I don't know if anyone's ever played SLA. That's kind of like a I feel like that's like a back alley TTRPG is Slay, S-L-A. Gaming for Gremlins is basically just keeping a list of felonies and war crimes. Yeah, it sounds like it. Well, I'll be back to G. And then he died. And then he died! A service level agreement? I don't even remember what it stands for. It was like, it's like a cyber, uh, do I have cyberpunk? It's like a, it's like a grimdark. I think it's SLA Industries. Yeah, it's SLA Industries. But that one had guns. Like, people carried, like, guns and rifles and stuff. Um, and the combat in there was a lot more detailed, which gave you the opportunity to do cooler things, but also was a lot more detailed. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, like, if everyone wasn't on the same page, it could drag on for forever, too. Which was painful. I didn't play that one very long. It's fine to show the players they're only part of the world, though. That's what I like to emphasize. The world keeps moving around the party, even if they stand still. I think, um, it's okay to do that. But I think, at the base, it really needs to directly involve the players in some way. But it's Otter and Joey's Dimension 20. This is the curse of turning to base player combat. It's just so boring! Green and Lee Mulligan is kind of good at TTRPG. Yeah, I've heard of him. Wait, didn't he... Is he working with Critical Role? Or am I thinking somebody else? Yeah, no, he's working with Critical Role, right? The collar tumor guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Dropout.tv. Dimension 20. He has been <clears throat> he has been the dungeon master for Critical Role Productions twice. Oh, because he did the DMing for um, Xandria and limited the Calamity. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They exist still, yeah. Critical Role kind of fell off, though, unfortunately. Which is sad, but also makes sense. I I stopped watching it after the second one. I hate what Critical Role did to D and D. What did Critical Role do to D and D? Is it because people expect everyone to be to be Matt Mercer DM? 
dicks! <laughs> that was loud. That was very loud. That was very loud. Good morning, small. I hope you weren't planning on sleeping. No, no, no. Their second season was pretty good. I pulled out my earbuds just in time. No, because, like, I... They're not live anymore, I heard. Like, I had a friend that was really obsessed with Critical Role for a really long time, but I guess they're, they don't do the shows live anymore. They, like, record them ahead of time. Like, apparently, I don't know, I don't know for sure, but apparently they, like, record for a really long time and just break those chunks up into, like, four-hour segments or whatever to post on YouTube and stuff. But then it got popular, and now I don't want to. Very nice. Everyone cheats in those games. Well, I mean, you know, it's a TV show. They gotta keep it interesting. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, like, uh, like, at some level, I'm sure there's some scripting. I wouldn't, like, if they came out, they're like, yeah, we script these, these things. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Rule of cool is a forever thing. That's true. But then, like, Sam Regal came out, and he had had tonsil cancer, like, throat cancer. But, like, he said he had been, like, dealing with it for over a year, but then, like, their last show with, like, Sam in it was, like, two months ago. So, like, that's how far they recorded out. You know what I mean? So, it's not, it's not live anymore. Which is kind of not as fun, I think. Because then you're just watching a TV show. And I'd rather just watch, like... Because, like, the Vox Machina animated TV show is very good. I'd rather just watch that instead of a bunch of people role-playing. You know what I mean? Matt Mercer. On that note, I have to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to go run a small ad, and I will be right back. And then we can chit-chat some more. So, Goose, have a good night, but I will be back. Hang tight, guys. Ma <laughs> ha ha. Orange VT or Ange VT. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meet hall. I am back. I didn't even give you words. Um, oh, well, he left, but they gave me a follow, so I thank them. Frosty, like, I don't know why Frosty died, but Frosty's apparently back now. So. Delicious in Costco. Let's go. I, I did log in. I did. I did check my dashboard. I did. AD my vein. I did log in and check my dashboard. I swear. He didn't, he didn't do an ad, did he? 
I did check it. I had to like log in and then and then dashboard. It says it's connected. Do I have to mod them? I did log in. I did. I did. Taylor raid messages. Should we do that? Make every entrance count. Leave a lasting impression with unique narrative-driven raid experiences. Effortlessly raid prep. Remove the house of crafting raid messages. Instead, focus on wrapping up your stream. Kickstart engaging conversations. Provide context to spark meaningful dialogue. And build a closer knit relationship. What does that do? After a short delay, the tailored message will show in chat. Encourage your viewers to copy the message, and once the raid completes, paste in the raid. Well, should we try it? Normal, bold, user channels, emotes. Let's go. Let's go. We need a specific. Where's the one with the sword? There we go. This one. Save. Do two messages, one with your emote and one without? Yes. No. Viking. We're gonna try it later when we it sounds very chat. I will do da da ba ba da da da. Da da ba da 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 da. Thanks, wish why am I bouncing? Bouncing. We'll try it. We'll raid someone later and then we'll see we'll see how Frosty does. I will stretch! Oh, my back just pops. Ugh. Oh, yeah, because Pickle's not streaming right now. I follow so many people, and none of them are streaming when I am done. This is bullshit. Yeah, oh, did you hear my back popping? She hates us. How much time is left on her clock? A lot? Oh no. She's gonna be doing a subathon for the next 15 years like this. At least two days. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, Commissar Bunny Ayu is doing live office lady ASMR. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, we'll see. I'm not raiding right now. I'm still streaming. But... We got, we got, we got time. Bye, Kami. Everyone's like, bye, Kami. Everyone say goodbye, Kami, in chat. <laughs> say bye, Kami. <laughs> Why, he's already gone. He's probably watching it in another window, to be honest. <laughs> the poor guy. The poor guy. But yeah. Yeah, so if I made my own if I made my own TTRPG, I don't know. I need to figure out the combat combat. 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 So we'll just see. Like it's hard. I need to find the right balance of like fun and things that make sense. You know, not just like I don't want to just like whittle it down so it's like a shell of anything, but I always preferred role playing to combat anyway. But a lot of people don't like role playing, so like that also makes it difficult, you know what I mean? People get freaked out by role play. Bleach do you role play? You guys role play, right? <laughs> the trick is to have a stupid character. I force them to role play with me. Amazing. Wait, do you guys do it over voice? Do you do like VC? Or do you do it in text? You do silly voices? Oh, you guys do VC, dude. Hey, I was updating time zone and Unix to the schedule channel because the bot didn't do it. And this is the thing I get. I'm trying to help you. Here. I'm trying to help you, Commissar. Here, Commissar. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm deleting it. I'm not. I don't know how to delete it. How do I delete my own message? Can I not delete my own message? What the fuck? 
Oh, you can't delete your message in Twitch. Well, there we go. Guys, don't leave my chat! I swear to God, if I see my viewers drop, I'm gonna be pissed. Can I get a <laughs> Hoya? No, stop! Neko, thank you for the prime sub! Thank you, thank you! No, unpin! Unpin! <laughs> you guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. Argentina versus Colombia is on. Oh no, he's watching the football. <laughs> we love you, B. Well, at least there's one of you. He's not from either of those countries. Yeah, well, the ball of the foot. It's called soccer, but I'm trying to be um, diversive. Is that the word? Neither am I, but I'm still watching it. Is soccer that fun to watch? I need quesadillas and to finish the first watch through of the Boondock Saints. He tells us when to get mad when we leave. No, stop! I think everybody but the U.S. calls it football. I th I literally think it's just like the U.S. that calls it soccer. I maybe one other country. What countries call it soccer? United States, Canada, South Africa, Ireland, and New Zealand. The very white countries. <laughs> No, well, Versailles calls it football. And he's from Australia. The wrong countries. I don't know, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the British invaded both the United States, Canada, Ireland, and New Zealand, and South Africa, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong about South Africa. Yeah, they did. They invaded them twice. All the countries you invaded... Call it soccer. It's all I'm saying. Great Britain annexed New Zealand in 1840. Why, why y'all, why y'all, why don't you call it soccer? Also, Spain versus Britain match today, I think. All black. That's rugby. I call it either. The most common holiday is Independence from Britain Day. It's celebrated once a week. Why, why is Britain so bad at holding land? Why so bad? So bad at it. They, like, expanded way too fast. Like, not even the Roman Empire is at that level. You know what I mean? Why so bad? Now they're just on their little island getting sad about getting sad about uh Megan Merkel. We use foot to measure once and they play games with it. <laughs> oh man. I have to go to the gym tomorrow. I don't want to go to the gym tomorrow because I want to be lazy. Guys, you know how much I don't want to go to the gym? But I think it might be a girl issue. Britain lost the empire trying to build railway from Cape Town to Cairo. That would do it. That's a long way to go. Just do steroids and call it a day. No, but like seriously, like you guys, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna generalize, but correct me if I'm wrong. Most guys, when they go on a gym rampage, put on a comfy t-shirt and a comfy pair of shorts and their gym shoes and they go to the gym, right? Right? That's that's normally your plan for gym. You wear your Yeezys to the gym? That's really weird. But then, like, I have to put on a sports bra, which is uncomfortable. I have to put on leggings, which is uncomfortable. Like, I get I get my like baggy t shirt, but like we also wanted spices, so they couldn't put it in their food. They just didn't want other people to put it in their food. I wore ankle length spandex to the gym. I mean same, I guess, technically. <laughs> it's just like my like once my gym clothes are on, it's fine, but they're uncomfortable to get into. 
Like, I just don't want to put them on. Plus, plus, I got one of those stupid sports bras that has, like, the, like, a tons of straps in the back, and they always get... What are you doing, Eyeball? They always get, like, tangled in the back, and they're really annoying, and it's, like... It's really hard to just find a normal sports bra nowadays. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, that sports bra. The sports bra. <laughs> it's a, it's SOS. It's it's Morse code. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> guys, guys, please, it's the spandex. Help me. I just don't want to put on the clothes and go to the gym. I have to drive to the gym. That's work. It's just so much work to go to the gym. I can't just walk. I have one of those gym buddies. I've, I got a gym buddy, and she's one of those gym buddies that, like, love the gym. She loves it. So she goes, like, five days a week. She she goes five days a week, and then she's like, why aren't you going five days a week? I'm like, girl, I cannot go five days a week. I cannot. I want to live. And she's like. And I'm like. Ugh. So I have to go at least three days a week. Or I get judged by my gym buddy. Which is like. She's like the good kind of gym buddy to have. Because like she makes me go to the gym. But it's still. Still. Smacks lids just mentally. It's true. It's true. She's like. She's like so fit too. Like I'm like. And like, hello. And she's like, hello. And I'm like, damn, you're like, what the fuck? You don't look ripped when you're just wearing normal street clothes, but you're in your gym clothes now and you have like a fucking six pack. What is going on right now? And, and she's like, what? And I'm like, nothing, don't worry about it. It's fine. Let me just, let me just. She's one of those people that changes her shoes. Like she'll walk to the gym in one pair of shoes and then she'll. Then she'll put on another pair of shoes to actually like work out, like gym shoes. She has two pairs of gym shoes. Back in the Middle Ages, people didn't need the gym because they had to plow the fields and carry grain sacks around on their back. That's true. But now I work in an office, and then on my off time, I stream, so I have to go to the gym. She's a keeper. I know. She's so cool, though. Like, she's so chill. Don't bring up girl abs in this chat, please. She's got the gym shoes. No, like, I don't know. Like, you guys know anyone that, like, changes their shoes for gym time? I don't, because I can't afford two pairs of gym shoes. But one day I hope to be that secure in my life where I can have a walking outside pair of gym shoes and a walking inside pair of gym shoes. One day. One day. To go to the gym in the AM or the PM? I go in the AM. I get like a weird, so like my job is weird where they want people to quit smoking, but they technically can't punish people for smoking besides like increasing their insurance copay a little bit. So basically what they did is they did the math and they found out that like normal smokers take about an hour's worth of smoke breaks during the day. So then they run, if you don't smoke, you can take an hour's worth of paid time and go to the gym. And it's okay. But if you smoke, you cannot. So I go to the gym during work. What's weird? I used to when the Navy was giving me very nice custom made shoes. Now not so much. Yeah, no. Nah. I just, like my, I've had my shoes for a long time, and they're on the more expensive side of gym shoes. I just don't want to replace them, because my bills have gone up and my pay has not. Your job and the whole thing? Well, smokers cost them more money, I guess, insurance wise I guess, I suppose. But, yeah. They just, they just want people to quit smoking. They should just let us teachers smoke in the classroom, yeah? Anyways, I'm going to start smoking at work for fun. He just wants an hour off. It's actually really annoying. I hate people who go on smoke breaks. I shouldn't say hate. That's too strong of a word. I'm mildly annoyed. I fucking love smoking. That's annoying. You're annoying. 
You're actually annoying. <laughs> <It's> a <coughs> I think people use it for socializing is the thing. <coughs> you get a half an hour break and an hour lunch? How long do you work? Do you work 12 hours? What the fuck? 7 a.m. to 3. That's not 12 hours. You get a half an hour break and an hour lunch? I don't smoke, but I take smoke breaks. Just gotta stay unwind. I feel that, though, for real. Like, if they're... What the crap? I don't think it's... I could either have a 30-minute lunch break... And a 30 minute break, or I could have an hour lunch break. We used to have guys take smoke breaks for like three minutes and not smoke because the smokers could do to Jay. Also, I could smoke in like three girls. Okay, so you're slightly less annoying then. I'm sure I'd get brutally murdered if I smoked at work. It would ruin all the electronic equipment. Technically, I have a 30-minute lunch, but I take an hour because I can't really do anything to me. That's how I kind of feel. I show up, <laughs> show up late. Well, like, I'll go to the gym, and then I'll come back, like, after an hour and, like, 15 minutes or something, like, an hour and 30 minutes. Did the music suddenly stop? Did we die here? What happened? Okay, it was just the end of the song. Weird. I find it annoying. I, uh, I find it annoying because when I need them, they're nowhere to be found. Find them outside smoking. Yeah. Like, I'm glad smoking is one of those things that's kind of falling off trend. I'm not a fan. Cleaning out a smoker's computer is gross. Bro, my parents smoke. I hate it so much. It drives me nuts. Their house is disgusting. Like, the ceiling in their bathroom. Because for a while, my mom would smoke in the bathroom to, like, hide it that she was smoking. So, like, the ceiling in their bathroom is, like, dark yellow. What are zins? The hell are zins? That sounds not healthy. That sounds dangerous. The new wave? I'll post them in meat hall? Dear God. That sounds like an illicit drug, Bleach. Hello, Nact! How are you? Oh my gosh, my voice is dying. I need more water. Smoking got cold in the U.S. because all the dough boys saw the sexy French girl smokes they brought back after World War One. That makes sense. Hi, what did I walk through? I was just complaining about smokers, mostly. <laughs> we were talking about D&D &D a little bit ago. My mom had dementia. She forgot she quit smoking, so they gave her smoking the 1MG smokes. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. Rogue nicotine packs are better. What kind of smokers? There are a few kinds. I Well, I'm talking about cigarettes. Like, tobacco. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm lost in the sauce here. I'm too old for this, apparently. Are they, like, mints? Is it gum? Is it nicotine gum? That looks like a medically packaged snuff, is what that looks like. It looks like- it looks like shitty dip. Like, Clorox version of dip. I'm judging you for that. You're not cool for that. You're actually really lame. I'm just saying. Like, that looks lame. That looks like a- that looks like you can't afford, like, normal people dip. I see. I myself occasionally have a cigar, but they often <clears throat> get put in the same category. I don't like, I don't know. I think like occasional cigars is fine. I don't like people that like chain smoke, but that's like, that's like a very personal thing for me. We were mostly talking about it because my in real life job, my big girl job, like lets me have an hour of gym time paid because they have to let it, people take their smoke breaks. So this was their answer to like making it like quote unquote fair. Started these for when I'm drinking or smoking already. That's- I don't know, dude. Like, that's not even cool packaging. That looks like Ikea brand fucking dip is what that looks like. Stuff is better than dip because you don't have to carry around a used bottle for coke. Oh, god. Dip. 
containers is disgusting. I hate spitballs. Oh my god, I hate tobacco so much. What is making smoking on a gym break? That sounds very stupid. No, 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 no. So basically, my job has realized that they can't force people to quit smoking, even though um, it costs them more, like, insurance-wise. <clears throat> so instead of, like, forcing people to quit smoking and, like, punishing them for smoking, they're just rewarding people for not smoking. So they did, like, some weird math, and they found out that people spend about an hour a day, like, on smoke breaks. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's what they said. So they found out that people spend about an hour a day on smoke breaks. And um, so they let us have, those who do not smoke, they let us have an hour of gym time on if we don't smoke. So we get, like, paid gym time if we don't smoke. I smoke the occasional cigar. Oh, that actually sounds, like, kind of great. Yeah, so it's, like, it's, like, motivation to quit, but then also it makes, like, the non-smokers healthier, so then it's cheaper for them. So I get like an hour of paid. I don't take it every day, but some people do. I can't gym every day. I'm too. I'm too wobbly. I'm too feeble. I'm too feeble for gym time every day. So that's like how they make it quote unquote fair. Man, I would like to get paid to go to the gym. It's like that's one of the one thing with my job is like it's not a great job, and I wish I got paid more for my job just with the way the economy is going. But like the benefits aren't anything. Like my insurance kind of sucks now, but like the benefits are pretty good. I just go gym and then have a cigar because <laughs> Schwarzenegger. It's one of those things, man. It also has to do, like, like scheduling. Like, if someone calls in sick, you can't take your gym time sort of deal, but. Yeah, I get benefits because healthcare is working. Yeah, I don't get that. It do be nice, though. Yeah. It would be nice if I had, like, a gym on, like, the campus situation I work at, but they I don't. So I have to drive, but it's not too far. So it's not it's not a bad steal. Y'all have insurance, yeah. I swish. What work do you have in real life? Can you tell? Um, I'd rather not tell. Getting healthier and building those habits is hard. It's true. Um, I used to talk about it a little bit more, but now, like as I'm growing, I feel like I shouldn't share too much stuff. Um. I do work in the financial sector. I will say that. But that's that's probably as far as I should say. <laughs> I'm a narc. No, I uh, I had to, I missed I missed stream on Thursday because I was dealing with a lot of counterfeits. <laughs> so No, you do you be I'm sorry. No, nah, be sorry. So sorry. Must be going out. Have a good night. I should probably be going soon. Yeah, I'm a rogue operator. If you too want to be a rogue operator, use the word clucker. Use the code clucker at checkout to get 10% off your rogue energy. <laughs> She's a fed. That's how she met Fubi. Puts on tinfoil hat. Never seen a single episode. What is white? Is that the lawyer one? She's a hitman? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? It would make sense for a Valkyrie to be a hitman, though. It would make sense. I've never seen a single episode. That makes... I suppose that makes sense. Alright, let me look at my... Let me look at my things. I will... I think we're gonna wrap up the stream. As fun as I am hanging out. Um, as fun as I am hanging out. As fun as I am having hanging out. See... That's better. Rogue or gamer subs? Honest opinion and why. Okay, wait, I'm going to answer this question before we leave. I've never had gamer subs. <laughs> um, I do really like Trust Fund 65 Blue Eyes and works in finance. It's true. Um, I, I've had Rogue. I really like Rogue. Um, besides the fact that they sponsor me. Um, but I've never had gamer subs. But I do, I don't know. I like their flavors. The one thing I do notice that if you don't really add ice or if you don't shake it really hard, it does get a little powdery. 
<coughs> um, but that's like literally my only complaint for Rogue. Rogue is a little cheaper. Um, they just don't have as many um flavors as uh, gamer subs, but the one thing I do really like about Rogue is that they are local-ish to me. So they're in the same state as me, which is neat. I like helping a locally business. Yeah, I gotta be. Yeah, if you make it with ice, it makes the powdery go away. It's really weird. But I like the grape. I think I might try the hydration one next and bring that to the gym, though. Odd but insightful, no problem. Yeah, I've never had gamer subs, so I would if I if I knew the difference, I would definitely tell you. But I do like I do like rogue. But I just scoop it directly into my mouth. Brutal. Yeah, I think I think I will get uh, the hydration. I'll get a hydration one next and then take that to the gym. I don't think I drink enough water. I'm definitely lacking in salt, so. Um, all right, so let's, let's try the raid. Yeah, energy in the morning, hydrate at lunch and chill before bed. I wish the chill worked on me. That would be really cool. It didn't really seem to, though. We are going to raid, um, Ray. Deus, R-E-H-E-A. I'm trying, I'm trying something with Frosty. Wow. I'm trying <laughs> with Frosty, so we'll see if that works. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Give me a moment to craft a tailor raid message. Get ready to copy them. Get ready, guys! Her anxiety overpowered. Oh my god. That's actually embarrassing. Please do not copy that. I don't like that. I don't like that one. He's not a sub, he can't emote. Do not copy that, that's actually embarrassing. From yapping to objecting, we sailed. That's so cringe. That's incredibly cringe. Damn it. Well, thank you guys for coming. I will see you on Tuesday. We'll be playing Outlast again, where I hope I don't implode, but we will see. But thank you guys for coming. Have a wonderful night, Dad. Nee -nee.